My name is Emily Quinn, and I was an artist in residence at Joshua Tree Highlands in the spring of 2018. My paintings are psychological landscapes in which dollhouses, figurines, and miniatures are metaphors for the mind. I paint surreal domestic spaces in which shiny, melting, translucent, ghostly, and fractured figurines appear to be on the edge of a mental breakdown. Their emotional and mental states are manifested through various stages of physical collapse. These spaces double as theater sets that allow viewers to project movement or some sort of narrative, but because they're frozen in time, the overall atmosphere is one of stillness and silent anticipation. I use dark humor and bright colors to engage viewers because I want my work to be a catalyst for conversations that acknowledge and normalize feelings of isolation, loneliness, and loss. During my residency at Joshua Tree Highlands, I spent time at the Noah Purifoy Outdoor Museum. I was initially attracted to his use of found objects and the way he theatrically combined whimsy and horror in his work. His large-scale sculptures are playful and experimental, but also reveal deep pain and trauma. From the point of view of the little people is a piece that time and harsh weather conditions have made even more haunting. Looking up at the stick legs and sun-bleached fabric, I couldn't help but think of a hangman scaffold. Contemplating the way that we anthropomorphize objects related to the human body, I made this painting and titled it Hung to Dry. Theater is an important theme in my work and in Purifoy's, and seeing the way he used empty chairs inspired me to create a couple of paintings with the title All the World's a Stage. Similarly, when I saw this sculpture, I imagined arranging objects on it to create little theater sets. So I made an ode to Noah Purifoy's Ode to Frank Gehry, and then made a painting of part of it. One of my favorite things about Purifoy's work is the way that he took broken objects and turned them into meditations on life. I made my first paintings of broken figurines at the residency and have since progressed to defacing, mutilating, and completely transforming them, as well as creating my own figurines and miniatures. Joshua Tree Highlands was my first residency, and it was an unforgettable experience that continues to influence my work and my career. I had the opportunity to spend time with people who knew Purifoy, such as my generous hosts, Steve and Ruth Riemann, and his studio assistant, Kathy Allen. I left the residency with new friends that I continue to keep in touch with and an appreciation for the Mojave Desert. The residency increased my confidence and encouraged me to apply for more residencies and to push my work in new directions.